You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and I have had my friend Pat Monteith on a few times to talk about the wonderful stuff. Pat, you wear so many hats. You help us at the library with the makerspace. Mm -hmm. You're involved in all sorts of different organizations, as am I, the NAACP specifically, and we are talking STEM week. Correct. End of October, mm -hmm. two dates, mm -hmm. Tuesday the 23rd, Wednesday the 24th. Tell me about it. We have children's event, different ages for different days. Correct. So this all started when the governor, um, Governor Baker back in May, decided to proclaim the week of October 22nd through 26th as STEM week. Mm -hmm. And he tried to convince everybody to get involved and do STEM activities that week. Um, as you know, I'm involved in a lot of STEM activities. So I decided to jump in and I talked with Phyllis Ellis, the president of the NAACP, and I said, look, this is a way for us to get involved and maybe get some more students of color to come in and learn about STEM careers. So she said, okay. I reached out to the governor's office immediately and they said, sure, let's do it. And then we've got a committee of, I think, six or seven people from the NAACP who um, has helped to put together uh, two absolutely incredible events. The Tuesday night is for um, students in grades K through five um, and their families, and it's all hands-on activities. So we have things like we have a um, uh, wetlands in a pan mm -hmm. that um, uh, Megan Shea from the planning office will put together. Um, we have some children's authors. We have a lot of hands-on STEM activities like the library children's services did um, back in August. Um, so uh, Sue McCormick in particular from the library, children's library, has pulled together all the volunteers she had in August mm -hmm. to put together a number of different um, activities. So that's the Tuesday night again, K through 5, Tuesday the 23rd. The time is 5.30 to 8. Mm -hmm. um, Luckily now the library is open till nine, Correct. so there's a little leeway. It used to be pretty tough because I you know. had to be out at 7:45. <laughs> so when you get all the kids and all the parents there, it gets uh, and there's tons of partners on here. Okay, oh, sure. yeah. we'll we'll shoot a picture of this and put it up on the screen, okay. and then we can figure out who they all are. And then we go to Wednesday the 24th, again 5:30 to nine. That so one's till, till nine, nine, right? All the way till nine. Because these kids are older. Grade six so. and twelve, mm -hmm. and their parents. So what's going to happen? I'm looking at things like College Corner, and why don't you tell me? Well, we have five or six different um, colleges that are going to be there. Um, you know, the ones you would expect: Bridgewater, Massasoit, um, UMass Boston's going to be there, Stonehill, um, and UMass Dartmouth. Um, and then we have a bunch of organizations and businesses. Um, that the committee has been very creative with trying to show STEM to be not just something for astrophysicists and biologists and things of that nature. So we've got, for instance, the Steel Workers Union who are going to come in and talk about how steel working relates to STEM careers. Um, the Forsyth Dental Institute is going to be there mm. to talk about um, dental careers. Um, Black Girls Code is coming. We're really pleased to get them. Um, they didn't have a branch in the Boston area, but this has actually spurred them on to create one. So they'll be there to talk to, to uh, students about coding. Um, you know, we've got uh, NASA through me, and you know, my connections with NASA, we're gonna have a nice display there. CVS Health, uh, the Bridgewater Makerspace, um, the Youth Works, mm -hmm. um, right here in Brockton. Um, so there's a lot of different organizations that are going to be involved in talking about not only careers in STEM and what you need to do to get involved in STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, um, but you know also where you might have an opportunity for some internships, mm -hmm. um, which I think is very important. Hands-on experience not only helps you get into a career path, but also lets you know whether you really like you know that career or not. Better to find out back in the, the like, like for instance with me, when I was in third grade, I wanted to be an architect. Uh, and then I found out how much math that I had to do. <laughs> well, back in my day, they used to do experiments with math. Uh -huh. I had new math. 
which made no sense. <laughs> and my mother didn't realize that that wasn't a great path for me. There was an experimental reading program that she forbid them to put me in. <sighs> All of my friends spell wrong because it, you, you spell things like they sounded, mm -hmm. and so they all spell badly. Mm -hmm. I got saved from that one, or I would have probably been an architect, okay? <laughs> um, I got the TV bug, so I like that. And I didn't want to do the engineering part of TV, which is much more lucrative than mm -hmm. management. Mm -hmm. um, if you know how to fix things, if you know, nowadays, if you know the technology, um, you know, if you know, I mean, everything's mm -hmm. a computer. Sure. Cameras we're using here in the studio, they used to mm -hmm. have components, now they have computer chips in them, right, and hard three drives, chips and, and hard drives, and we, we don't record anything on a tape anymore, we, we uh, record it to a drive, or mm -hmm. we have a memory chip or mm -hmm. a card, and you know, old dogs need to go back and learn new tricks, <laughs> so uh, maybe we, at some point we do a senior citizen version of this for people like me, because I learned, hey, computers were optional when I oh, went to high sure. school, you didn't yeah. have to learn anything with computers. Um, well, I was a math major, so I was taking computer programming back mm -hmm. when I was a junior in college. Wow. Yeah. Long so time ago. you're looking, there is a registration site, and I know um, I'll read it, okay. and we'll put it up on the screen. It's um, HTTPS, which is the secure version of HTTP, mm -hmm. with a colon with two backslashes, www.surveymonkey.com, one backslash, the letter R, backslash STEM, S-T-E-M, hyphen week. Right. Okay? Because you want people to register. We want to get people in there, and we want to know um, where in the library is it being done? Uh, we, for Wednesday night, we're taking the entire library. Okay. So, you know, the um, STEM um, exhibit area yeah. um, is going to be in the big multipurpose room. Downstairs. And yeah. at this point, we have 20 exhibitors. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so you got there's hallways and there's <laughs> something uh, like the that. main lobby right. and other places. Well, like what that. we're doing in the lobby, in the lobby in the art gallery, we're actually going to be having um, panel discussions okay. about you know four different types of topics, okay. um, from you know technology careers to health careers, um, you know internships, and then STEM is for everybody. You right. know how does somebody who think they might have an interest but they might not be good in math. How do you still get involved in STEM? Sure. I mean, whether you want to know it or not, this is STEM here in the studio. Science, technology, engineering, and math. That's it. And I'm a big proponent for adding the arts part into that. <laughs> That's a whole separate issue. And that happens sure. in different places because right. arts, yeah. art involves mm -hmm. science, technology, engineering, and math, if you really think about it. I love the fact that there's something for kids, K through five. It's killing me that it's on the 24th because that's my board meeting here. Oh. And I'm here. I'm <laughs> stuck here. I would love to be there for that one. But I, maybe I'll join some of the kids on, on Tuesday night. Um, I mean, the, the kids can code part is really very cool. The um, And that's a new program that the library is launching next um, month. The Brockton Kids Can Code. They just got a grant right. to be able to um, run this incredible program. Lots of technology they're bringing in, lots of uh, computers and iPads and software. That is a phenomenal program. Okay, I got the wrap cue, so okay. we're going to wrap it up. Thank you, Pat. Thanks sure. for all you do. Absolutely. I know you do a lot of it voluntarily, so yes. it's appreciated. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.